the popular booktubes talk booktubes <laughs> in full like money in full money what you spend money on books all the time <sighs> sometimes english is not my first language to try try and travel what <laughs> It's Jay, and today I am here with my July most anticipated book. I picked a total of seven books, and I'm hoping that they are ones that you guys haven't heard of yet from the big popular booktubers, so we'll see how that goes for me. I'm super excited for them. I think they sound really interesting. So without further ado, let us get started! Okay, so the first book is actually a sequel to one of my favorite books from 2015 and it is The Merciless 2 by Daniel Vega, The Exorcism of Sophia Flores. I don't think anybody understands how excited I am for this book. Can we just look at how beautiful it is? It's gold and gorgeous and I just, yes! It's supposed to come out July 5th, 2016. I think that this book is actually going to be one that I go to the real bookstore and buy. Because we all know your girl only shops at the thrift store because she's cheap. But I might actually buy this book in full price because I'm very excited for it. The second book that I'm super excited about for the release in July is The Killer in Me by Margaret Harrison and it's supposed to come out July 12th, 2016. This book follows 17 year old Nina Barrows and she has been obsessed with a killer who calls himself the thief. She's so obsessed with him that she even tracked him down to his hometown in New Mexico and with the help from her former best friend Warren, she actually travels there and goes to meet him. And the more she hangs out with this thief, the more she realizes that he isn't who she thought he was. She starts to second guess herself and she starts to think that maybe the thief is not a real thing after all. I honestly just think this sounds so cool because I, I love like serial killer things. I know it's weird. I just think there's going to be like a huge plot twist that like you don't expect at all. I'm really hoping there is one where she like gets killed or something like that or attacked in some way. The third book that I'm very excited for is called Baby Doll and it is by Holly Overton and this is also supposed to be released on July 12th, 2016. The book follows Lily who has been held captive for the past eight years and her daughter Skye has been captive for her entire life. That is, until one day their captor leaves the deadbolt unlocked, and I'm assuming it's just going to be them escaping and their story of getting out is pretty much room, which I loved, so I'm very excited to read it. I think it's going to be super thrilling and really interesting because I love kidnapping stories. Again, I'm super weird. The fourth book I'm excited for to be released in July is A World Without You by Beth Revis, and this is supposed to be released July 19th, 2016. The book follows Bo, who has always believed that he has had the ability to time travel, and his parents send him to Berkshire Academy, which is a school for troubled youth. He meets a girl named Sophia, and she thinks that she has the ability to be invisible. One day, Sophia commits suicide, and Bo believes that he has actually left her in a time frame from the past and he has to go and rescue her. As you guys know, I love mental health things, so this book seems to be right up my alley. I think it would be super interesting to read and the whole mental health aspect of it is a really interesting concept to me, so I'm very excited for it. Next book I'm super excited for is called Gemini and it is by Sonia McCurgy. Probably saying that 100% wrong, I'm so sorry. But this book is supposed to come out July 26th, 2016. This is a coming of age story about two conjoined twins who are 17 and their names are Clara and Haley, and they cannot be any more different from each other. Clara is more quiet and reserved and Haley is more outgoing and wants to travel the world and as their high school graduation approaches they need to figure out what it means to be their own people and I just think that it sounds really interesting. The whole conjoined twins thing is something I've never read about so I think it would be really interesting to see where the story goes. The next book that I'm excited for is called The Beauty of the End and it is by Debbie Howell and this is supposed to be released also on July 26, 2016. The book follows a man named Noah Calloway and he is an ex-lawyer and 
16 years ago, he believed that he was going to marry the girl of his dreams named April, but she ended up leaving him alone at the altar. One night, Noah receives a phone call saying that April is in a coma and that she is actually the lead suspect in a murder trial. So Noah decides that he is going to figure out how to clear her name and he is a psychological thriller, that's all I really know about it. And it just sounds super cool, you know your girl loves her psychological thrillers, so I'm super excited for this book. And also, I'm obsessed with this cover, so... I need it. The final book that I'm excited for the month of July is I See You by Claire McIntosh and this is supposed to be released July 28th, 2016. It follows a woman named Zoe Walker and her picture shows up in the classified section of a newspaper and she has no idea why. Having no explanation other than this grainy photograph, an email, and a phone number, Zoe sets off to determine if somebody is actually following her every move. This is a psychological thriller. Again, I love psychological thrillers, so I'm very excited about this. Alright guys, so that was my most anticipated books for July. There were seven of them. Hopefully some of them are new to you guys. Maybe not, maybe you've heard of them. I don't know, let me know down below if you guys are excited for any of them or what books you're excited for in general. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Hey, Sonia. Sonia Mukherjee. That were, that were. What is English? Seriously, second language today, I don't know.